Treatment of Femoral Shaft Fracture in Children The shaft is the most common site for pediatric femur fractures, accounting for almost 75% of all femur fractures and 2% of all pediatric fractures. Open fracture may also significantly alter the treatment plan. In addition, severely injured trauma patients may undergo non-operative treatment until their hemodynamic status stabilizes. For children with an isolated femoral shaft fracture and no other serious injury, initial therapy consists of pain management and immobilization. Definitive care for fractures of the femoral shaft can vary significantly, from short splint immobilization to open operative treatment. In general, Treatment largely depends upon the age of the patient. In neonates, soft cotton roll and a tongue depressor makes a nice splint of appropriate size and padding. The use of a Pavlik harness has also been described in the treatment of femoral shaft fractures in children less than 4 months of age, and in selectively smaller infants up to 6 months of age. Femur fractures in this age group usually heal within a month without long-term complications. In larger infants and children less than 5 years of age are most commonly treated in a hip spica cast. Closed reduction under sedation is required for fractures with more than 10 degrees of angulation. Because children's bones grow quickly, the doctor may not need to manipulate the pieces back into perfect alignment in the cast. The bones will grow and heal back into a more normal shape. As the body lays down new bone, over time, there is an automatic correction or straightening during growth, called remodeling. Fractures that are significantly shortened, greater than 2 cm. A few weeks of skin traction using weight accounts 10% of body weight, should be entertained to reduce residual leg length discrepancy. Spica casting then applied until fracture healing. In most instances, children can be transitioned to a spica cast after three weeks of traction. A spica cast begins at the chest and extends all the way down the fractured leg. The cast may also extend down the uninjured leg or stop at the knee or hip. Children remain in the spica cast for a period ranging from four to eight weeks. In children 6 to 10 years of age, closed reduction and flexible intramedullary rod fixation are the treatments of choice in stable fracture patterns and weighing less than 50 kg. A knee immobilizer or a posterior splint is commonly used for a few weeks to prevent movement and to keep the child comfortable. In most cases, time to union is typically 10 to 12 weeks. Removal of the nail can be performed at 6 months to 1 year. The use of submuscular bridge plating, a construct that prevents shortening, is more appropriate in highly comminuted and therefore unstable, and fracture patterns in children who weigh more than 50 kg. After age 11, the diameter of the femur will allow intramedullary fixation with a rigid locked rod, which is then the preferred treatment. In younger children, the traditional piriformis fossa starting point is associated with a small but significant rate of osteonecrosis of the femoral head. Consequently, a trochanteric starting point is used until skeletal maturity has been attained. Once skeletally mature, a piriformis fossa starting point is preferred for the adolescent population. External fixators are used in a polytrauma patient. Open fractures. Associated vascular injuries requiring revascularization. And segmental or significantly comminuted fractures. Significant healing of femoral shaft fractures usually occurs by six weeks after treatment. <laughs>